Fortnite. The game that has took over the world. People are getting addicted to it. People are making stupid videos about it. Making a lot of money. Ninja. And this is my five types of players that are in Fortnite. Now just before I get into the five different types of players, let's just explain what Fortnite is. It's a battle royale game where 100 players jump out of a battle bus about 100 feet in the air, jump into a map that's quite big that you can run around in. You get circles to get into, or unless you stay outside the circle then you get um, killed by the storm. But it's basically a 100 player lobby that every man Every man for himself basically you get solos, duos, squads and you just basically pick up weapons, open chests, open supply drops, break things, build things. So it's a mix of like Call of Duty, Minecraft, PUBG and some people are saying it's the best battle um, royale game ever created. Mainly one reason that's because it's free. But let's get into now, now I've told you a bit more about Fortnite if you didn't know what it was, let's get into the five different types of players you'll find in Fortnite. The first type of player that really annoys me when I play this game is a player called the Sprayers. Now, when you're building your nice little base, trying to just make your little home, just having a nice little time in your own base, you get these little pricks that come along and start spraying. And you think, oh, they'll spray a little bit, replace the wall. Nah, they keep it going for about 20, 30 seconds. And it's the most nuttiest thing you've ever seen in your life. They'll just keep spraying and spraying and spraying until they've got no ammo. But really, when I do that to other bases, it's like I'm spraying for two seconds and I have to reload my clip. These little people spray for like a good 30 seconds without reloading their clip. And you're like, where did they get the bullets from? They must be breeding bullets. But honestly, it's, uh, it hurts my brain. They're not good at the game. They just spray and spray and spray and then... When they spray that much, especially if you're in duos or squads when there's two or maybe even four spraying at you. They just break down walls so easily and then it can hit you. So, unless you're very good at building or a very good player at the game to take all of them out, then they are the most annoying players to come across in the game. They'll literally just come across you in your base, whether it's already been built, whether you're building it, whether you're just running in the middle of the open, they'll just spray at you and keep spraying until you die. It's just non-stop pressure. And honestly, they're not good at the game. If you come against, up against these people, run. Because there's not many ways of beating them unless you're ninja level. Now, the second type of player in the game, and them sneaky bastards, the campers. So, in Fortnite, it's like a real world. You have bushes, trees. Well, the campers hide in bushes. They, they could put C4s on a door, on a drop, on a llama, which have now added, been added into the game. They could do any of this, put traps anywhere and just sit in a, camp, a bush and camp watching you. And then just come along and they'll blow up, your C4, blow up the C4. And other campers just sit in a bush, wait for you to come along, jump out of the bush and then attack you. It's like being fucking jumped in down the back of an alley. They just all jump at you at once, but they're just, these aren't the talented players either. They're just scared to go out in the open and run, try and get kills and win the game. They just want to sit in a bush and just try and kill a lot of people by doing it because Bushes are being checked a lot more lately, but it's quite easy to hide yourself into a bush. Especially with the use of that actual bush being in the game as well. Like you can equip a bush and run around as a bush. It's just, they're not good at the game. So I advise you if you are going to play Fortnite and if you are playing Fortnite and you are getting killed by these people, check every bush you can. Maybe even carry, carry a silenced pistol on you for no reason. Just carry it, just to put one bullet into the bush, see if there's someone in there because... I'd say there's a good 6 out of 10 chance that there's going to be a, a guy in the bush because they just they just do it, they're just dicks. Now the third type of player in the game, and I think this is the second best way to play the game, it's the snipers. The, pr the little pricks that sit back about 300 metres and just spray with snipers. Literally, you, you come out your base and you get your head took off. You, you peek the littlest bit, you'll get your head took, took off by a bolt. It's just, it's not fair. Some people with snipers in this game, they are too good. Honestly, they're, if you can master the sniping game on Fortnite, you're going to get a lot of wins, honestly. I know it's a lot of close range battle and things like that. But trust me, if you can master the sniping game on Fortnite, you're going to get a lot of wins because all it takes for someone to be building the base, you're a quite a bit away from them, I'm not going to challenge them with an AR or anything like that, 
So you just hit him with a sniper. One shot to the head and they're gone. Any sniper, but like any bolt sniper to the head and they're gone. Semi-autos, they're like the shit guns in the game basically. Don't ever pick up a semi-auto. They're like the shit version of the bolt. It's like the B-Tech version. But if you are going to pick up a sniper, go for the bolt and always go for the headshots. And actually if you can master that, you'll get a lot of wins. Now this is the type of way I play. It's called the Sploders. It's them people that carry lots of grenade launchers, grenades, C4s, rocket launchers, anything of that magnitude. And they'll just put you under so much pressure with RPGs, etc. RPGs, personally, are my favourite gun in the game because you can use them close range as long as you protect yourself. They'll do 150 damage around, around that in the game per, per hit. It's so easy to get squad wipes, even even in solos, duos, anything. You can wipe out teams with RPGs. Grenade launchers, easy to wipe out base. If you see a big base and you're scared about running up to it, make sure you've got a grenade launcher on your spray at the bottom. It'll just rip the whole of the uh, base of the um, base out. And uh, it's just a good way to play the game because people with big bases don't ever be scared of them when you've got explodes. Throw them at them. Throw them in the base if you've got a grenade or anything like that. If you've got an RPG, build above them, shoot down on them with the RPG. And if they're good, they'll block it. If they're not, then you've probably got a nice kill. But Splodes is another way to play the game. And it's just, when you come against Splodes, and the thing is you can hear them from miles away as well. So you can see when someone's fighting, so you can go and attack the Splodes. It's up to you, but Splodes are very dangerous people in the game. You can be gone in literally two hits with any Splode. Grenade launcher, rocket launcher, grenade. It can take a lot of health off you. So just be aware when you see the sploders. Now, the best way to play the game, the way you're going to get the most wheels, the mo uh, most wheels, most wins, most kills, anything of that uh, uh, thing here, is by being a very good builder. Now, Ninja, in my opinion, is the best builder in the world, which is why he's the best player in the world. If you can build, you can outbuild anyone. It's just it's a lot easier on PC compared to console. That's why if PC players ever come to console. They wipe the floor with us because the way they've got the buttons on the mouse, etc., just click between stairs, walls, anything. They can protect themselves at all times with the building skills they've got, and that's why Ninja and them lot on do stream on Twitch and all that lot are that good at the game because honestly they just outbuild you. And when you see when you're in your nice little base and you see someone in the middle of the open, and you shoot at them, you maybe get one tap on them, they instantly build for the like draw for the wall straight away build stairs and just rush you with stairs and they're just not scared of you at all and it's it's so terrifying to see stairs and walls just flying at you and you've got nothing to do because all you're doing is sat in a base if you try and out you try and build out to them they'll just out build you and then just finish you off honestly builders are the best players in the game if you see a builder run honestly do not try and go toe to toe with a builder it's just not going to end well for you it's just i don't know it's just very hard but Builders are the best type of player in the game. Stay away from them. Unless you are one, then congratulations to you. You're a very good builder and you will get a lot of wins. But that's going to do it for the end of the video. If you enjoyed, then drop a like below. Subscribe if you haven't. Also, go into the description and subscribe to all the links in, in, in the description. If you've liked this video, then tell me in the comments below whether you'd like me to make more like this about Fortnite, more Fortnite videos. Also, I stream near enough daily on this channel between about 12 and 4 o'clock in the afternoon. So make sure you tune into them streams. And until then, see ya.